Hey, still on us, the practitioner here, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, I myself am actually uh, with you on this one about the, uh, again, about the, the whole convoluted uh, myths pertaining to paganism and uh, God and all that. Um, there is, however, one small problem uh, with the concept of, you know, um, rather than trying to... Uh, um, deal with all these things. Wouldn't the set, uh, wouldn't the easiest explanation be that there is no god, uh, and that it ha that it happened naturally, and that magic is uh, is nothing more than people's imagination? Um, the in terms of trying to explain their myths, like any other myth, I think we could. I think you and I can both agree that most of these religions, uh, well, scratch that, all these religions, um, are probably completely out in terms of. Um, you know, I think we can pretty well dismiss them all. However, there is one small problem uh, when it comes to dealing with the issue of a god altogether. And this is why I'm an agnostic as opposed to an atheist or a Christian. Um, I've kind of flipped back. I drifted out of Christianity, drifted to atheism, drifted back to agnosticism, um, largely for this reason. Um, in a recent documentary done by BBC Horizons called Parallel Universes, um, there was a great elaborate amount of talk about a new... Um, successor to string theory called M theory. And anyway, this is supposed to be proven by the La Large Hadron Collider, which is supposed to be flipped on this August, according to another major news source. But in part five of the episode, one of the things that they talk about is that the mathematics, uh, one of the mathematical extrapolations which comes out of M theory, is that apparently it is physically possible to artificially create a universe. Now, what this does is, uh, I, I want to make this perfectly clear. If it is physically possible to, for a sentient being to artificially create a universe by merging two membranes to, uh, sorry, sorry, by merging two membranes together, um, um, the, um, it means that there is now a 50/50 shot at uh, there being a, sorry, it means that there is now a 50/50 shot about there being a creator in our universe, or sorry, a creator of our universe. Um, that creator, of course, would have no effect whatsoever. Um, a la the deus god that Martin Gardner kind of believes in to a certain extent. By the way, for those of you who don't know who are watching this, Martin Gardner is a deist who uh, is a prominent skeptic and um, uh, a close friend of James Randi and is one of the uh, founding members of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, formerly PSYCOP. Um, now, the problem with this is that this now makes a god a 50-50 proposition. Which means that until we... Um, uh, now, of course, mind you, M-theory has not been proven yet, so that... Um, but again, it is the most leading contender right now for, um, and the LHC supposedly should be proving it by finding the Higgs particle. So this could this is looking about 4060 right now, and if LHC and if the LHC does find proof for M theory, uh, this raises the possibility of a creator a la a Deus perspective to a 5050, which means that a creator or a deity in the format of a creator is actually possible. We wouldn't have any idea as to what that form of creator would take, but there is something to be consumed. There is something to be um, thought about in relation to this. Arthur C. Clarke's third law clearly states that any technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. And um, the whole concept, like we used to create Zeus and other things, largely for phenomena that we couldn't understand. Now the problem is, is that um, people might actually start worshipping this figure as a god, until such time as, um, again, remember this is a 50-50 shot. Uh, uh, the only true concept would be an agnostic. But if this evidence does actually come out, and if people actually do find this particular, um, you know, um, when people take a look at this, and uh, uh, you know, if, if this particular um, uh, extrapolation of M theory does get made in modern light, there will be a whole bunch of religions trying to uh, put their hands on this one, and um, you know, and new theories coming up. And so the point is that I don't think that it's quite as easy just to say that there that a god doesn't exist. I mean, it is simpler, but I think that the issue is a little bit more complicated than a uh, cut and dried uh, uh, exists or does not exist at this particular point. I think it's going to be kind of we're kind of stuck at. A, I mean, it, it. I mean, it does boil down to that dilemma, but. The point is that I don't think it's going to be a simple answer either way, especially if M theory gets proven. It's going to be kind of left 50 50, because um, at that point, a deist universe is indistinguishable from one where the god, where a god doesn't exist. And um, 
at that point, the whole concept of whether God exists or not is going to become uh, entirely pointless. Um, why am I bringing this uh, issue up? Um, purely because of the fact that, um, like I said, I was glad for you for taking on, um, for making an argument pointing out um, the flaws in Wicca, but um, I think that the issue of uh, just the point of you're saying that uh, wouldn't it be simpler to believe that there is no God? Um, simpler maybe, but not necessarily is my point. There's there's too many other little um, skew factors in here which are going to make it uh, kind of difficult to actually say whether there is a God or not. And um, I mean, the proponents can make the claim um, and they can point to the end theory mathematics. But the problem is, though, is that again, um, then again, so could the um, so then again, so could the atheists by just simply saying um, it could be easier to believe that uh, the universe was created naturally than by a creator. But without sufficient evidence either way to assemble uh, to assemble it, the argument becomes an emotional one and uh, not necessarily a um, you know at that point the argument becomes an emotional one and not necessarily a logical one, um, meaning that this whole issue might not be determinable or false or either position would be falsifiable either way. Um, I want to make something perfectly clear. To doubt the existence of a God is a, um, you know, uh, to doubt the existence of a God is a, is not a negative claim. However, to say that a God is physically impossible or that there is, it is not possible for there to be a creator of this universe or that, it, uh, or that a creator is less likely than a natural format to say positively that it is less likely is a positive claim and has to be proven either st through statistical calculation or through uh, evidence via uh, natural laws or something like that. And um, if the deus concept does manage to get, uh, if M theory does get proven, that's going to be considerably more difficult for either side to, uh, for, for a claim for either the atheistic or the theistic community to make. Hence why I'm now an agnostic. Anyway, just um, thought I'd give you a little, um, uh, well, for what it's worth, a little uh, uh, side thought on this issue. Um, purely just to kind of toss in a, a little bit more info into the works, purely for consideration. Anyway, I hope that helps. Oh, um, one small, uh, small note on the second aspect. Um, uh, saying that magic is just a part of their uh, imagination and the power of prayer. Um, that is a separate issue altogether. And uh, to uh, categorize that just to their religion, uh, saying that's just that, that, that uh, just to say, wouldn't it be easier to believe that it's all just their imagination? Um, that may not be quite the case. Um, to be fair, what it probably would be more appropriate to say would be something like, isn't it possible that it's just uh, a lot of coincidence and you're incorrectly inferring it? Um, to say something is purely in somebody's imagination, um, it's kind of implying that they're um, not necessarily in touch with reality. Um, on the other hand, to say that they may be making a logical error would be more appropriate. Um, it kind of implies an ad hominem. It's not direct, but it kind of implies one. So just to, you know, kind of stay away from stuff like that, I called Captain no Awesome for uh, on. Uh, I called Cap no Awesome on a couple of his videos for having pulled that sort of shtick. Um, I, you know, I, I, and yes, he is there to make fun of people, but um, his making fun of people is really not helping the atheistic or agnostic cause. The cause, well, either one, the cause of reason. Be anyway, that's a side note. The second issue is, um, is their prayer, uh, um, as opposed to any other religious form of prayer, having a marked effect in any way that could be, uh, albeit small or even big, could that could be measured as being beyond, say, chance levels? And um, the issue, I think, as to where we have to look for this is to the results of uh, psychokinesis experiments, uh, so-called uh, PK. Um, and by PK, I mean uh, micro-psychokinesis in this particular case, um, random number generator work. And that particular um, subject is still in a great deal of controversy. Note that I just said it's in a state a great deal of controversy. I'm not a proponent or a uh, high skeptic. I am somewhat skeptical of the uh, of psi phenomena. But um, there are a few issues which are, unfortunately, again, boggling the issue, um, which are complicating the issue which again, um, don't make uh, a purely skeptical standpoint is traditionally um, say, uh, say the thing, there's nothing there, or a proponent's uh, um, position either as being uh, either one more or less likely. Um, again, like I said, there are more issues like uh, experimenter effects in the format of experimenter expectancy effects, um, experimenter biases and other things like that, which may be playing into it, which are um, you know suffering difficulties between uh, proponents and skeptics for replication and the like, which need to be addressed before we can consider this outright. Anyway, 
that's just my thoughts. Toodles.